Republican Senator Susan Collins, who is partially responsible for the overturning of Roe v. Wade, noticed a message near her home in Maine, which reads, Susie, please, Mainers want the Women's Health Protection Act. Vote yes. Clean up your mess. Now, we're going to talk about her response in a second, but I just want to give you some context here and why they wrote this message. So this is someone who claimed that Anti-choice justices like Brett Kavanaugh and Neil Gorsuch would not overturn Roe v. Wade. How does she know this? Well, because they told her so. So when she found out that they did indeed vote to overturn Roe v. Wade, her response was that really, you know, them doing that is completely inconsistent with what they told her when they were banking on her support. Yeah, it's almost like they'll say anything to get a lifetime appointment. And then once they're on, they know that there's nothing that you can do to get them off the court. So, you know, what she could be doing is trying to lead the charge to impeach them. But at a minimum, what she can do right now to really try to right the wrong that she helped to create is support the Democratic Party's efforts to codify Roe v. Wade into law. But she's not going to do that as well. As Forbes explains, Senator Susan Collins will not support a bill to codify abortion rights into federal law when it comes up for a vote next week. This was written last week, by the way. She told reporters Thursday, reiterating her belief that the Women's Health Protection Act goes too far despite the Supreme Court appearing poised to soon overturn Roe v. Wade and let states outlaw abortion. So she was fooled into believing that these far-right theocrats that she voted for wouldn't actually do what we all knew that they would do. And now when she has the opportunity to right the wrong, she's choosing to not do that because bogus reasons. So that's why they wrote this message. Your constituents are telling you, please do the right thing. You created this mess. You put women in this predicament. Now fix it. And she's not doing that. So they sent her that message. And how did she respond? By calling the cops literally because of chalk on sidewalk she actually called the police as kenny stancil of common dreams explains senator susan collins summoned the cops to her house over the weekend to complain about a sidewalk chalk message urging her to vote for the women's health protection act which would codify the abortion rights now in peril thanks to the u.s supreme court's right-wing majority something the main republican played a key role in solidifying police arrived at collins home at 9 20 p.m on saturday the bangor daily news reported monday the message, which Bangor Police spokesperson Wade Betters described as not overtly threatening, said, Susie, please, Mainers want WHPA. Vote yes, clean up your mess. By Monday afternoon, the sidewalk chalk had been washed away. We are grateful to the Bangor police officers and the City Public Works employee who responded to the defacement of public property in front of our home, said Collins. Defacement of public property. It was chalk. You gigantic fucking baby. They sell this at stores for children. They use chalk to write on sidewalk. And the reason why it's great is because it washes away and it's already gone. But you called the police. Okay, did she not think that it was chalk? Did she think that somebody spray painted that in front of her house? I don't understand why she had this overreaction and felt the need to call the police. What, because they were near your home? I mean, we're seeing public officials across the country get protests at their homes. So, I mean, is this the first time it's happened to you? It's just what a bizarre way to react to this. This is your constituent saying, hey, Susan, you fucked up. Fix it. And your response is to freak out and call the cops. I mean, this isn't about you, Susan. This is about the women who you fucked over by voting for anti-choice justices. And, you know, you are admitting essentially that Brett Kavanaugh lied to you. But uh, if he lied about that, what else did he lie about? Are you going to live with the fact? Uh, are you going to be comfortable living with the fact, Susan, that you voted for an alleged rapist? If he lied about Roe, maybe he lied about that, too. Is it possible, maybe? Ridiculous. Now, just to remind you how confident Susan Collins was that uh, Brett Kavanaugh would definitely not overturn Roe v. Wade, take a look at how many times she reiterated that she has the utmost confidence in him, that he is going to respect precedent and a woman's right to choose. Take a look. I do not believe that Brett Kavanaugh will overturn His precedents Roe are overturned. He noted that Roe had been reaffirmed 19 years later by Planned Parenthood versus Casey and that it was precedent on precedent. He said it should be 
extremely rare that it be overturned and it should be an example. So you have obviously us. full confidence. I do. We talked about whether he considered Roe to be settled law. He said that he agreed with what Justice Roberts said at his nomination hearing in which he said that it was settled law. I could not vote for a judge who had demonstrated hostility to Roe v. Wade because it would indicate a lack of respect for precedent. What Judge Kavanaugh told me, and he's the first Supreme Court nominee that I've interviewed out of six who has told me this, is that he views precedent not just as a legal doctrine, but as rooted in our Constitution. And he reveres our Constitution. I asked him, is it sufficient if five current sitting justices believe that Roe should be overturned? And he said, no. I would not support a nominee who demonstrated hostility to Roe v. Wade because that would mean to me that their judicial philosophy did not include a respect for established decision. Judge Kavanaugh is the first Supreme Court nominee to express the view that precedent is not merely a practice and tradition, but rooted in Article Three of our Constitution itself. I will vote to confirm Judge Kavanaugh. Embarrassing. She was the only person in the country who didn't see what we all saw. And when he does what we all told her he would do, then it surprised Pikachu face. She claims, oh my God, I can't believe that he would do this. Really? You can't believe that he would do this? You can't believe that a Supreme Court justice would lie to get confirmed? I mean, you're just, if you actually are being honest with your reactions to this news, I can't not think that you're a stupid person. Like, I have to assume you have a low IQ because you can't be that naive and be a sitting senator. Like, you should resign because if you actually cared about your uh, constituents, then you should give them someone who's actually competent with functioning brain cells to represent them, to have that seat. But I mean, this is what we're dealing with. She's probably not the dumbest member of the Senate. In fact, I'm, I'm certain she's not the dumbest member of the Senate, but this is what we are dealing with. Absolutely outraged that Brett Kavanaugh would do what we all thought that he would do and knew that he would do, but then won't take the opportunity that she has to fix the mess. And then she screeches at the top of her lungs and calls the cops like a Karen when people go to her home and write a chalk message on her sidewalk. What a complete petulant child susan collins is embarrassing pathetic were you acting like a